What's going on, everybody? I am back with another Prize Picks NFL Player Props video. This one going to be breaking it down, giving you guys two picks, get you win some money over here on Prize Picks for this week three Sunday football action. Excited to get into it. If you have not checked out Prize Picks, guys, would highly recommend you check them out. It is a player props website and app where you can win money off of picking the over and under on things like players' passing yards, rushing yards, receiving yards, pass rushing, and receptions, touchdowns, field goals made, etc. Go and use that promo code KJKDFS to receive an instant match on your first deposit up to $100 today. Again, that is code KJKDFS. And if you are getting very serious about price picks, really looking to ramp up your game, I would highly recommend you check out my premium content packages. I do provide this free content to you guys as much as I can. But if you want to get access to every single one of my picks, all my tickets as soon as I place them, the VIP member package is going to be where it's at. I'm going to be providing you guys with two picks from my first ticket that I just released to the VIP Discord. And this one, uh, and a six man. So if you want those full six mans, all those tickets that I release, uh, check that out. That'll be linked below in the description and in the comments. And if you enjoy the content, guys, would be greatly appreciated if you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content that I upload. It is free. It takes two seconds to do. It does great that you help me out. I'll be helping you guys out with these videos for free all NFL season long. We've been on quite a roll on the channel with the MLB picks. I released a college football video. Hopefully those picks go well today. And now we're rocking with the NFL looking to get hot in this as well. So let's talk about it. Got two picks for you guys. We'll go game by game as we always do. And the first game that I'd like to discuss is going to be this Tennessee Titans Cleveland Browns game. This game comes in with a 39 and a half over under. It is a three and a half point spread in favor of the Cleveland Browns who just lost their star running back in Nick Chubb. I uh, went down with a season ending injury, which is going to make Jerome Ford have to step up into a bigger role here. The Cleveland Browns did go out and sign Kareem Hunt, but there's no guarantee he's even going to be active this week. And there's been multiple reports reporting that their guy is going to be Jerome Ford. He's going to be the featured back. As he was, uh, as soon as Nick Chubb uh, left last game, and even though they lost Nick Chubb, obviously that's a huge blow. He's one of the top runners in the league. This Cleveland Browns team has still been one of the best running offenses. That they've had a great O-line for the last couple of years. And Jerome Ford looked really good after taking over. Uh, Cleveland Browns, top four run offense in the entire NFL this year. Now, obviously, you could make an argument that a lot of that has to do with Nick Chubb. I get that. But um, Ford stepped in and looked really good after Chubb was taken out of that game. you got to give credit to the O-line. The, the Cleveland Browns' entire run game is still there outside of Nick Chubb himself. So if Jerome Ford's able to step in and fill his shoes, you know, even somewhat— Still think he's going to have some success, and I still think the Browns are going to look to run the ball. I mean, you look at the um, pass-to-run ratio for this team as far as play calling is concerned. It's pretty much a 50-50 split. 49.3% of the time they're passing, 50.7% of the time they're running. And uh, with all these question marks, with them announcing Ford as being the featured back, we don't even know if Kareem Hunt's like in game shape. It's probably going to be more of a guy that they call in for passing plays, even though we saw Jerome Ford take some plays out of the backfield as is. Um... All of this to be saying, I really like Jerome Ford's uh, rush attempts propped uh, over here on Prize Picks. There's a lot of question marks. One thing we know is Jerome Ford came in and filled Chubb's shoes beautifully last year. I mean, not last year, last week when Chubb went down with an injury. 16 attempts, 106 yards on the ground. He had three receptions on four targets for 25 yards as well. Um, looked really good. And that wasn't even playing the whole game. He rushed 16 times. Uh, head coach Kevin Stefanski said Wednesday. Use Ford as the team's lead back. Kareem Hunt's coming in. Um, Kareem Hunt could take a few carries away, but going to be called on, you know, more in the pass game. And um, like I said, Jerome Ford stepped in, looked good, and we're dealing with a really good line over here on Prize Picks as far as his rushing attempts prop. 12 and a half. Um, that is not a very high line for a guy that's expected to be the featured back. And there was some serious juice on his over on drafting sports book right now. Minus 166 juice on the over 12.5 rush attempts. Uh, so this is a prop I think you got to take advantage of, especially the first week. Like, let's say the Jerome Ford experience doesn't really go too well. They're not going to know that after one week. This They're going to give him a go this week. A lot of question marks. Kareem Hunt being called in. They're three and a half point favorites. So, you know, might get up in this game and have to run the ball a couple times to drill that, uh, you know, wind the clock down. And like I said, he didn't even play the entire game last time out. And the guy ran 16 times. Um... So that tells me they're going to be committed to their ground game still. Still going to be going to Jerome Ford. I mean, if this was a game with a huge spread as far as, like, the Browns expected to possibly be blown out, I'd be a little bit more concerned. But clearly it's not. It's a three-and-a-half point spread in favor of the Browns, even without Nick Chubb. So they're at home. Uh, they're expected to win this game. 
12 and a half is a really low line. And like I said, we're getting some really good value on the books on this one. Minus 166 juice is incredible. Um, so it's certainly a prop with a lot of value. Certainly a prop that I want to lock in. And like I said, uh, with it being the first week, with them just finding out like Nick Chubb's done for the year, uh, I have a hard time seeing them just pull the plug on Jerome Ford, uh, even if he is struggling, even if he isn't getting a lot of you know gain on the ground. He's going to get 13 plus rush attempts here, in my opinion, hands down. So um, good value on the over. Juice, a lot of question marks surrounding like, is Kareem Hunt in game shape? Is he even going to be able to play this week? Pierre Strong out of the backfield. Jerome Ford stepped in and looked great. Take advantage of this 12 and a half rush attempts while you can. I think this prop is going to be, you know, up there, at, you know, 14 and a half, 15 and a half, 16 and a half, possibly in following weeks. So that would be pick number one, rocking with the over 12.5 rush attempts for Jerome Ford. And then pick number two, I'm uh, going to talk about another game here for this Sunday football slate. It is going to be a game with some weather concerns. And it's going to be a game that's going to be probably a pretty ugly classic New York Patriots, I mean, sorry, New England Patriots, New York Jets matchup. Uh, because we have some weather concerns here in New York this weekend, looking at the latest weather report, East Coast game. This is going to be the one with the, the most weather concerns. Good shot of rain during the game. Wind sustained 10, 50 mile an hour with gusts up to 30 mile an hour. So this is a game with a very low total, 36 and a half over under, two and a half points spread in favor of the New England Patriots. And I think it's going to be a game where the weather is really not too pretty and the game is really not too pretty. And the New York Jets lost their star quarterback that they just signed this year, hoping to change things around in Aaron Rodgers in week one after about three plays. Zach Wilson has stepped in. Zach Wilson has been one of the worst QBs in the entire league um, for a couple years now. Uh, we're talking about a guy this year that comes in as the 33rd worst QB in the entire league on 58 dropbacks. He's got really bad grades across the board. 48.1 offensive grade, 44.3 passing grade, and that's not an outlier. Um, Jets drafted this guy in the first round with the second overall pick. And he just, the, the talent just has not translated to the NFL. Uh, you look at his grades over the last three seasons. In 2021, he only had a 54.8 pass grade. That dropped all the way down to a 43.3 pass grade in 2022. And he's right there again after a couple starts this week, or this year, I should say, with a 44.3 pass grade. So Zach Wilson has not been good. His talent has not translated over to the NFL. But we're looking at a game with some serious weather concerns. Like I said, it's expected to rain. There's going to be wind. It's going to be a really ugly one in New York. And it's for all these reasons. I expect the Jets to run the ball a lot here. Um, one thing the Jets do have is some depth at running back. Three running backs that they can go to. Brees Hall, Dalvin Cook, and Michael Carter. Um, last week, they got absolutely blown out. This game's expected to stay closer with a two and a half point spread. And like I said, with Zach Wilson filling in at quarterback, I think the entire offensive playbook has been flipped up on its head. The Jets are going to look to be run heavy, just try to keep the ball in their hands, get some stops with their defenses, with their defense, which is one of the best defenses in the entire NFL. They do have that going for them. They have the fourth best defense. So you're looking at a game script where it's going to be ugly weather. They really don't trust Zach Wilson. He hasn't shown that he should be trusted. And he's going to have a hard time throwing in this weather as is. I don't think the game plan is going to be to even let him throw the ball. It's for all these reasons that I really do like his pass attempts prop uh, over here on Price Picks, and I love the under. This juice continues to climb on this prop. He's at 29 and a half. Um, has not cleared this in each of the last three games. Now, obviously, um, Aaron Rodgers started in Week One, but he went down with an injury like three plays into the game. If that, I don't remember, but he got hurt immediately. Zach Wilson stepped in. You can see he stayed under 27 pass attempts last time against Dallas in a game where they got embarrassed and he, and he had to throw the ball. Um, so this is a game script where they're not going to want him to throw the ball. He's probably not going to have a very good success at throwing the ball in this type of weather. He hasn't had success at throwing the ball in good weather. Um, and he only threw 27 times last time in a game where they lost 30 to 10. So this game is expected to stay closer. There's some weather concerns. Um, I just don't see them wanting Zach Wilson to throw the ball. I think it's going to be a lot of ground to pound and trying to get stops with their defense. And the juice on this prop just continues to climb, climb, climb as far as his uh, pass attempts prop. Uh, I had a lot of interest in it earlier, and it's even better now. Minus 162 juice on the under 29.5 pass attempts here for Zach Wilson. Everything leaning towards the under here. The, the game environment, they really don't trust Zach Wilson. He hasn't given them a reason to trust them. I mean, he's been turning the ball over and playing terrible at the quarterback position for quite some time now. Like I said, in games where there isn't good weather, now it's going to be rainy, windy. 
just a, one of those games where it's just going to be real ugly. I'm expecting this game script to feature a lot of running, not a lot of passing. You didn't even clear this last game where, like I said, they got down big. 30-10 to 10 was the final score against Dallas, and he still only threw 27 times. So I don't see him coming close to this uh, this week. It's a pick that I like a lot, and the books are agreeing with me. Like I said, some serious value on the under. Minus 162 juice on the under, 29.5 pass attempts for Zach Wilson. Uh, and that will be my second pick, under 29.5 pass attempts for Zach Wilson. And my two picks to get you one some money over your on prize picks for this week three NFL slate. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content that I upload. If you haven't checked out the premium content packages, check those out, guys. Like I said, these two picks are featured on my first ticket that I already dropped. We'll have a lot more. I uh, already dropped those value alerts on these picks that I'm discussing in the video. Minus 162 juice uh, on those under pass attempts for Zach Wilson. I uh, notified the VIP Discord right away to get that in because I, I think it's going to get bumped for sure. Uh, but I'm going to get this video to you guys as soon as I can. Try to get these props in as soon as you can. And let's win some money on this week three NFL slate. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Wishing you all the best of luck on your NFL player props this week. And we will see you in the next one.